In case you missed it, last Friday a meteor got all up in Russia's grill and exploded all over the Urals. Now we're left with the aftermath and the people of Earth are turning to their space administrations and asking, what the what? <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Trace and you're watching D News. We've been working to get as much information as we can about this meteor explosion, which caused significant property damage and injured 1,500 people, 46 of whom still remain in the hospital. For the full story, check out Anthony's video from Friday. Now that the immediate needs of those affected are being met, the space agencies are coming forward to answer why they didn't see this asteroid coming. As asteroids go, it was a pretty good size at about 49 feet with a mass of between 7 and 10,000 tons. But even a good sized chunk can get missed. According to the Near Earth Observation Office, there are 1,100 Near Earth asteroids, or NEAs, larger than 1 kilometer in diameter, and more than a million larger than 40 meters in diameter. And that's just that we know of. But there are less than 100 people on Earth looking for dangerous meteors for the NEO. This NEO report says that we're about SOL on the NEAs we haven't found. Plus, this asteroid wasn't even close to 40 meters, and by the time it exploded, it was only around 6.5 feet and weighed only 10 tons. Back in 2005, Congress asked NASA to create a plan. Basically, this report says the best way to deflect a small asteroid is to blow up a nuclear weapon nearby. But with less than 100 people looking, we don't have that much of a shot of even spotting one. The Russian Institute for Space Research came out with a plan that used space-based in conjunction with ground-based telescopes to scan for future impacts. However, over the next 10 years, it would cost about 58 billion rubles which is $1.9 billion, and the Russians are a little skeptical about that plan. NASA's plan seems to remain about the same, and that is to look around and find and track objects to determine their orbit. Once their orbit is determined, we'll know if then it's going to hit us, and then when. The only way to make this work better or faster is to increase the number of people looking, and Americans aren't too keen on spending their money on this either. As is the case with much of the space industry, private companies are stepping up with their own responses and strategies as well, though none claim to have have all of the answers, and most are interested in mining the asteroids rather than just deflecting them. Both private companies and the government agencies across the globe are parroting pretty much what scientists, astrophysicists, and astronomers have already said regarding potential asteroid impact events. We told you so. Even if an asteroid has been spotted, Earth doesn't really have a plan to get out of the way or stop it from coming. Fish, meet barrel. We are stuck on this rock, and just like any natural disaster, sometimes you just have to weather the storm. Do you have a plan to fix our problems? Let's crowdsource it. Leave your ideas in the comments, and subscribe to DNews for future updates on this and tons of other awesome stories. Thanks a lot for checking in. We'll see you later.